have a question. What would happen if I just kept shrinking, getting smaller and smaller and smaller? By the time you're smaller than an ant, you can safely jump off a chair. Air resistance helps you glide down. But bad news, your voice is so high now because your vocal cords are so much shorter that no human can hear you anymore. But you'd hear new things. Normal sounds would be too low frequency for your teeny ears, but high-pitched things might suddenly be audible. But then insects would be monsters. And watch out for water. If you get caught in a droplet, the surface tension would be too high for you to get out. Now, smaller. The air keeps getting thicker. You start to feel like you're wading through a ball pit. Cells are huge next to you. And your vision's getting blurry because the wavelengths of light are too big for your teeny little eyes. Still going smaller. Now you feel like you're being bombarded with air molecules moving around at a thousand miles an hour. It's like you're inside a pinball machine. Now subatomic. If you magically survive all of this and go even smaller, now you're in a bizarro world. So you go inside an atom and you find there's surprisingly a lot of space in here. Now going quantum, you don't even really have a place anymore. You're somehow also a wave. At this scale, you might be able to go through walls. And if you somehow kept all of the same mass as you shrunk to this size, you're now one ten billionth the diameter of a proton. You're about to cross the point of no return and whoops, Sorry, you're a black hole. For optimistic science and tech stories, subscribe.